So we got this R2. Yeah, I am. Are we live? Uh, I think I'm going to go. Check this out. Can you see it? It's Uh, wait, lang, ah, lang. I don't need to be on Facebook anymore. Pala, ano? Yes, you're yeah. already an admin. And I think we're live. Day 30, 54. Now, you have viewers na, be? Yes. Oy, ano na, pa 505 na. Intro. Everybody, ano yung connecting to camera? Who is that? Hello, everybody. Anyway, um, uh, today's that day of the week again, where we gather a bunch of people to chill. However, chat. However, and talk about the lives of everything that revolves around. Oh God, I messed up my intro. Anyway, there will be changes coming in the future, so pati yes. intro mag magbabago. Yes. However, in the meantime, we are going to greet our panel um hello connecting to camera how are you today ladies and gentlemen we are late today because we got some technical issues do we consider that as, as technical issues anna yes mm, it is considered as technical issues pero hindi ito ano hindi ito sa sa technology ang issue namin ngayon is meron kaming mga guests na uh biglang na na wala due to some unforeseen circumstances which is okay but it happens but this is a perfect example of our topic for today which is anna <laughs> the top six problems freelancers face and what to do about them come on take na kami hindi mag live ni finish may kanya kanya kami problema kanina ng finish <laughs> <laughs> Oh, may kanya-kanya kaming problema. Ako may niluluto. Ako hindi pa nakapagtimpla ng kape and what not. Si Anna naman naghahagilap ng, ng um, emergency guests, which we have today. Let's start with Honey. Honey, tell us something about yourself. Hello, everyone. Hello to Phoenix and Anna and our guest, uh, isa pang guest panelist dito si Deb. So, I am Honey Eduke and I am Vab's product uh, development manager as well as the hustle challenge head coach and ongoing to soon to be confidence cultivator yes wow oh. <laughs> hey, ma 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 that's actually one of the problems of the free of freelancers especially the newbies so yeah let's yes, it is. keep on cultivating confidence that's good thank you very much honey and what about you deborah um, how do I pronounce your name? Silent Hawk. Debra. 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 Yeah, Debra. Okay, let's go. What do you want? Which, which do you prefer? Because, of course, we always say from now on. Is it Debbie? Debra? Okay, Debra. Debra? Debra. 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 Sige, tell us something about yourself. Why are you here and why should I be interested in you? Tapos 
Wow, wow. Okay, so we got a, a one of the outstanding students here. Very nice, Deborah. Thank you very much for coming. Kahit na urgent and on the spot na ano, na hinila ka ni Ana dito. I hope you're going to enjoy Ay, our company. Ay, hindi naman. Ay, maaga. Si Debbie lang ang ano, oh. nagtagumpay sa lahat. <laughs> oh, I ah, okay, akala ko kung anong klaseng pagba-blackmail ginawa mo para mapasali siya ngayon. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi siya nakalagpit na yung araw na to. <laughs> well, <laughs> welcome to the club, Debra. Buti naman. So, at least, ano, kahit na late po kami, ladies and gentlemen, we would also want to greet you, everybody, Han uh, Anna. Wait, kami. Nal nalilito ako, ang dami ko nilalagay dito sa banners. Ayan. Um, Mag-greet muna tayo sa ating mga viewers. Si Cara, si Mark, Smiley, Dahlia, Michael. Um, lagay niyo rin kung saan kayo ngayon, mga viewers natin. And Micaela, hello, watching from Laguna. Francisco from Puro Laguna. San Pedro, Laguna. Ayan, si Alex. Hi, Alex. Um, Raymond, Jerica, hashtag ko. Si Chacha, si uh, Mark Jobet, si Apple. Hello daw, Miss Honey, Miss Anna, and Sir Phoenix. How about Debbie? <laughs> Lores, um, Abby, Roma. Ano ba yan? Nakasalamin na ako. Hindi ko pa rin mabasa. Mark Jobet, um, Mr. Jason Dulay, sawa na ako sa buhay ko. Este sa trabaho ko. VA here, I call. <laughs> Wala si Jason eh. Si Amelita. Si Francisco, ang dalawang problema ko sa dalawang full-time client ko sa OJ at tatlo na per project sa Upwork, hindi ko na magawang maligo three times a week na lang. Ayan ang problema ni Francisco. <laughs> Ayan ang top problem. I love Ngayon, that. Si, <laughs> si Edsel, si um, Marietti, watching from ano to, Hong Kong. I hope you're okay dyan sa Hong Kong. Si Benichelle, si Jel. Hi, Jel. Um, hindi ko mabasa yung pangalan ng isa kasi parang character curva. Ayan, si Elmar from Cebu City and si Christine from Baguio City. At maraming, maraming viewers nga nun. 100 viewers na tayo. Oh wow, that's Ayan. nice. That's nice. Yes. All right. Okay, so our topic for today is uh, top problems, uh, top six problems. Well, problems of every freelancer and how to deal with them now ladies and gentlemen there's a link posted on the on on the comment section below i hope you will uh, take your time to read it because it's not really the discussion natin for today but why is this our topic for today anna bakit nga ba eh, kasi di ba yung mga freelancers na mga mga baguhan ngayon eh yun yung mga hinihingi nila eh yun yung comments na yata ngayon sa mga ano sa ating mga threads yung mga problem, problema yan. Katulad ni Francisco, problema niya. Malaki, maganda yung problema niya. May sa dami ng clients niya. Ano, hindi na siya makaligo. <laughs> Pero yung ibang itidiscuss natin dito na top six uh, problems, yung mga talagang na-encounter ng mga news na nag-freelance. So, yan ang itidiscuss natin for today. All right. So, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Nandito ang mga topics natin, the basis sa... Uh, muntik ko na muntik na ako magtagalog base sa artikulo na <laughs> base sa, base sa, may link oh, may link po na nakapost sa comment section please check it out and uh, have a have a short read and let's discuss this kasi lahat lahat naman tayo may problema naman tayo pero let's let's try to think of the biggest things that affect our lives as a freelancer as a freelancer ha huh? So let's think about that. And I hope that you add your input on the comment section down below. Any questions or comments, either the new in the comment section. Now let's go to Deborah. Deborah, uh and sabi dito sa ano, and sabi dito sa um what do you call this? But articulo ang pumapasok sa utak. And sabi dito sa articulo. Sabi dito sa articulo. Vague requests. Okay, number one is vague requests. Uh, so, what can you uh, have you had these problems before, Deborah? Anpa? Vague request. Number one. Request ng clients. Anpa, sorry. Vague requests. Ah, vague requests. Yung sa blog natin, yung vague request. 
Siguro di ba yung mga paminsan, may mga tanong ng ano ng students na ano, ano ba tong pinapagawa ng client? Hindi nila naiintindihan. Ah, uh, minsan. Okay. May client ka pa ba diyan? May client to ang ganyan, parang may kapagawa po siya. Tapos hindi po siya ba po pursue? Tapos bibigyan niya ba po siya ng ibang task? Hanggang parang hindi ko na finish yung isang task ko. Mm. And what do you do? What do you do about it? Hindi pa rin. Um, <laughs> May ilang ba ako? Hindi <laughs> <laughs> pa. Sorry. Ayun po. Uh, I just try to finish the task pa rin po. Basta ma-ano ka lang din po siya. Ma-please ko po siya. Mm. So kahit na... What, what, anong gagawin mo kung nagkataon na hindi mo maintindihan yung mga ano, yung mga instructions ng client? I ask some, ano ka rin po, clarifications sa client. As much as possible, uh, I try to um, ayun nga po, verify kung tama po ba yung pagkakaintindi ko dun sa task niya. That's good. That's good. Very good. Very good, Debbie. Uh, yeah, um, I encourage you to do, to keep on doing that, especially uh, uh, since bago ka sa freelancing, you need to find the courage to talk to your clients as much as possible pag ano, pag ganyan na hindi mo maintindihan ang instruction. Now, how do you ask? How do you ask your client? Ano po? Ganun ba? Direct po. <laughs> Direct na. <laughs> I have to ask directly na pleasant pa rin. All right. All right. Direct and pleasant. Okay. Direct and pleasant. Where do you want me to put this document? Mga ganyan. What folder? Okay. Is it in Dropbox okay. or in your Google Drive? Mga ganyan. Kasi kasi namimiss po niya kung saan po dapat i-request yung mga task ka gusto niya. Masa ka po lang. All right. Very good. Thank you very much, Zebra. Now, ladies and gentlemen, may... Ah, huh? Go. Sige, sige. Nadagdag ko lang sana, kaka-usually kapag may mga ganyan na vague request ng client ko, ang ginagawa ko para mas magkakaindi na kami, ni screenshot ko, or ano, parang naka-ano, ang pagam, or ang naka... Ano yung ba yung ginagawa natin? Yung naka-video siya. Um, um, ang, ang, ang loom. Naka-loom. Parang ipapakita ko sa kanya, oh, ito yung ginagawa ko, tama ba to? Kasi hindi ko naiintindihan kung paano ba gawin. Pero usually, yung mga clients ko naman din kasi nakukuha talaga. From the start talaga, maklaro naman kung ano yung talaga yung ipapagawa sa akin. Pero kung meron talagang instance na meron talagang mga task na medyo hindi clear yung instructions niya, ayun, nagsiscreenshot ako yung nagluloom. Parang video na isasend sa kanya na o ganito, ganyan. So, ipabalik kaya sa akin na agad kong gagawin ganyan. So parang mas mas madali kasi since di ba virtual tayo, nag-usap lang tayo, minsan nag-chat-chat. So hindi niya nakikita talaga kung anong ginagawa. So mas makakatulong siguro kung may mga gano'n, ano, may mga gano'n screenshot at mga video. Para mas makigets na kung paano mong ginagawa at saan ka nagkamali, nagkakamali. Yes, I, I strongly agree with that. Uh, what about you, honey? What's your input on this? Um, <laughs> medyo brutal ako pagdating sa ganyan eh. <laughs> um, any, <laughs> any client na, kasi from the discovery call pa lang, ini-specify ko na si client ano talaga yung gusto niya gawin ko para before I sign on the contract na we're going to be committed to each other, working with each other, alam ko na talaga ano gagawin ko. So, I really don't go for any clients na hindi pa klaro ang mga mga tasks na gagawin ko sa kanya. <laughs> Ayun. So, yes. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Uh, let me, may, may tatanungin nga ako sa inyong tatlo. May, kasi may, ako, pag, uh, pag, ganit, pag ganyan na hindi klaro ang, ano, ang, ang requests ng mga clients. For example, may, especially sa artistic part, eh, pag minsan sasabihin nila na, I want it to look good. Uh, Paano ba yung good? look good na yan? <laughs> What do you mean by look good? Y yung yung ganun, pag minsan, yan ang mga na-encounter natin. Eh. Even sa technical, yes. sa technical, 
gagawin nilang, you have to be very specific on on these parts. Pag, pag ganun ang, ang sasabihin nila, medyo manginginig ka na kasi anong parts at saka pa, gaano ka specific ba ang gusto mo? Gusto mong to the dot ba? For, uh, transcription jobs are as well are like that na um, pag minsan sabi, sasabihin ng client na I want you to uh, transcribe this verbatim. Pag sasabihin niya ng ganun, verbatim. Pag sasabihin niya verbatim, Siyempre, gagawin mong verbatim, pero mamaya gusto pala niya na, ano, na grammarly corrected. Yung mga, yung mga ganun na, ano, na instructions, hindi mo maintindihan ang, ang, ano ang laman ng utak ng client. So I have this expression. Just to make things clear, tapos uulitin ko lahat, parang i-enumerate ko lahat ng mga instructions para, uh, what do you call this? Para magkaklaro kami. I, I say, just to make things clear, tapos number one, itong sinabi mo, number two, itong sinabi mo, number three, itong sinabi mo. That's what I, I usually do. Pag uh, normal lang nakausap ko yung, ano, yung client ko. What about you, Anna? What is your favorite expression to combat vague requests? What is my favorite expression? Um, actually, um, pag sa mga, yun nga, katulad kasi ni Honey, hindi rin talaga ako tumatanggap ng client na magulong kausap. From the start talaga, inaano ko na na dapat talaga nagkakaintindihan kami kasi ang lahat ng clients na nakukuha ko up work. So ang worry ko lagi, it's yung mabibigyan ako ng mababang feedback. Kapag hindi kami nagkakaintindihan ni client, eh di ayawan na ka hindi ko na kaagad tatanggapin yung pinapagawa. Kasi, di ba, from the start pa lang na magulo na, eh, paano pa kami magkaka, ano, magkakaayos, di ba, sa bandang gitna kung ang gulo-gulo na niyang kausap. So, talagang, minimake sure ko na from the start, before um, accepting the offer, talagang alam ko yung pinapagawa niya. Kasi ayoko talaga rin mapasubo. Na, katulad nung, kasi usually, ito yung mga ginagawa ng mga newbies, no? Kapag ka naka-receive ng offer agad-agad, na overwhelm sila, tinatanggap nila agad, ina-accept nila agad. Yes. Kasi sabi na, eh, ito na, may offer na, sige, accepting ko na. Hindi nila kini-clear ko ano yung task, kung ano yung gagawin, ganyan. Parang ang habol lang talaga nila magka-client. So ako, from the start, inano ko na yun sa sarili ko na, teka lang, uh, maraming clients, makakahanap ako, pero kailangan magkakasundo muna kami ng client at naiintindihan ko yung pinapagawa sa akin bago ko i-accept. Kasi, maapektuhan na ng profile ko kung basta-basta na lang ako tatanggap, basta lang magkakayin. So, dapat talaga, mag-iisipan mo kung tatanggapin mo ba yung client at naiintindihan mo yung pinapagawa ng client. Yeah. yeah, that's also a very good move. Kaya invest na, ano, invest na i-fix mo, iwasan mo na. Avoid the damage instead of fixing fixing it. Right. What about you, Deborah? Do you have a favorite expression that we use when you try to clarify <laughs> things with your client? Favorite expression, favorite expression, lang hindi hindi things. Ang dami kita nito. It's okay, Deborah. Sir. Ano ang ano? Ano ang favorite expression? <laughs> Uh, sabi ko kanina, just to make things clear, just to make things clear, with matching hand ano, gestures pag naka-video kami, eh. just to make things clear. <laughs> yeah. Ikaw, Deborah, do you have any favorite expression? <laughs> si Annie. Favorite expression? Kapag ginagamit? Favorite expression? Kinahanap pa yata niya, no? Kinahanap pa yata niya. Magkakaroon niya. It means wala. It's yan. okay. Yeah, uh -oh. it's okay. It's okay kung wala. That's why we are trying to... That's why that's why I, I brought this up. Kasi marami tayong mga writers dito na may mga sakit din na ganyan din nilalabas din nila yung mga expressions nila when they uh, communicate with their clients. So ladies and gentlemen, mm -mm. kung kayo, if you have any uh, sakit na sinasabi or favorite expression when you are trying to clarify things with your clients, write it on the comment section down below. Tignan natin kung anong, anong mga interesting na expressions dyan. How about you, honey? <laughs> For me, I always tell them, hey, client, I have this on record. Is that okay with you? So that I have a point of reference to go back to. <laughs> so, meron akong ano, uh, it's kind of like documented. So, kapag sabi niya, hey, this is not what I, I told you to do. And then sasabihin ko, but I had this recorded and this is what it said. And... Mm. Correct me if I'm wrong, 
but this is what I understood because go. this is what I recorded. <laughs> so ganon. Yeah, so, that, that's record very na nice. Yung calls namin. That's very that's very nice. Ay, ewan ko, sa akin kasi wala pa akong masyadong dispute sa clients eh. Parang mm-hmm. ang in in my experience, walang dispute kasi yun nga before before na may na magkakaroon ng dispute, I always make it clear pinapaulit ko sa kanila or inuulit ko pa sa kanila yung mga instructions nila. Mm-hmm. Ang problema doon, ang problema doon pag hindi maintindihan yung instruction. Exactly. Oh. <laughs> pag pag hindi maintindihan yung instructions, I think the best thing the best thing to do about it is to confront your your client. Magbigay ka ng examples. Kung tayong mga newbie kung nagkataon na kausap niyo yung client niyo, nandiyan na kasubuan at nandiyan na kayo. Tapos yung mga instructions nila, hindi mo naiintindihan. Naguguluhan ka. Imbes na oo ka ng oo ng oo, wag. Avoid that. Avoid saying yes, 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 yes. Tapos pag natapos, saka ka nalang tatakbo sa, dito sa flip na tatanungin na ano yung, ano, anong, ano yung, gina, yung pinapagawa ng, ng client ko na ganito, ganire. Instead of, well, you can do that. But the thing is, pagkatapos nun, babalikan mo rin yung, yung client mo na magtatanong ka kung uh, tama yung ginawa mo. Which means, the, ang, 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 ang impression na pupunta sa'yo uh, about you sa client, yung hindi ka nakakaintindi. So it's better to say uh, okay I'm 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 trying to clear the, this thing up kung anong ibig mong sabihin dito. You, before na before na mag-end yung discussion ninyo, you have to make uh, you have to let your client know na medyo nag-aalangalin ka sa instructions niya. Be- kasi kung oo ka na lang ng oo ng oo tapos saka kababalik na mali-mali pala yung trabaho mo, then that will reflect on you as a client. Meanwhile, kung ikaw itong magsasabi na hindi ko maintindihan yung instructions mo, it will reflect on him or her as the client. Hindi exactly. na ikaw ang, ang may mali. So, yes. just, just try, yeah, try to avoid uh, the confusion. Kung meron man, i-clarify at i-clarify mo. Then, you, I, I think that's the best thing that you can do to combat vague requests. Okay. Uh-huh. Let's go to number two. Ooh, I like this. Number two. Number two. I want um, Honey to take care of number two. <laughs> micromanaging. I do not like being micromanaged. So, hindi po ako kumukuha ng clients na nagma-micromanage. So, as early as the interview or what we refer to as the discovery call, um, ina-assess ko na rin then kung si client ay tipong nagma-micromanage. So, I also like... For example, kasi for us, parang hinahayaan lang majority of the, the newbie freelancers, what what they do is they let the client ask all the questions during an interview. And pahingi po ng Mr. Chips. <laughs> um, pero the thing is, we should also be preparing questions. So I would ask the client about their management styles. Um, I ask them if how they they um, how they how they conduct their um, pag naguuto sila ng mga tasks to do. How often do they need how how soon do they need the task to be done, mga deadlines, mga ganon, how tight are the deadlines, and stuff like that. Basta marami akong tinatanong in order for me to assess how they're like when it comes to their management of a person that works with them or for them. So, if I assess as early as the interview na may pagka-micromanaging itong client na to, then that's a red... Uh, ano na, alarm bells na ako nun, and I will politely decline na lang si client. So I don't work with them. And if you chance to happen to have a client that is micromanaging you, I believe it would be best to let the client know na, hey, um, if you could uh, work with me on uh, adjusting 
certain parameters of the way our working relationship is because I feel I work best when I'm less, um, let's say, scrutinized or when I'm, kung hindi ako mina micromanage masyado. So you can say it politely, but you should be straightforward. Don't beat around the bush. Kung baga, wag mong siya ipa... Kasi it's with us Filipinos is that meron tayong ano eh, mas hindi tayo direct. We need to be direct in letting them know that hindi ako comfortable. I can't work my best. You let them know. I can't work at my best when uh, when somebody's breathing down my neck like this. Parang ganon. Or parang nasasakal po ako. <laughs> Maghiwalay na po tayo sa relasyon natin. <laughs> parang ganon. So just be direct better that way. Yeah, I like the I like the words that you chose kasi iyan ang isa sa mga mahirap sabihin ng mga Pilipino. I don't like when somebody is breathing down my neck. Mahirap mm-hmm. na, na na sabihin din ng Pilipino whereas that is a very common expression, very easy to say expression in in the Americas uh, kung yes in the western areas. So I, I like that uh, Honey made an example of an expression that you could use. Find the courage to use it. Memorize that phrase. Uh, uh, I don't. I feel uncomfortable when I feel like somebody is breathing down, down my neck. Memorize that phrase, uh, mm-hmm. ladies and gentlemen. And once you memorize it, continuously keep using it, and it will be easy for you to say it when you need it. Yeah, yeah, ng ano? Mm-mm. Yeah, ng parang advice ko sa inyo. If you feel like hindi pag if you feel like hindi niyo masasabi yung mga expression na binibigay namin sa iyo sa inyo then just try to memorize it and to keep on saying it and eventually it will be easy it will just come out of you naturally ang yes ang uh-huh. usually sa akin pag ganin na ang ang mahirap kasi sa ano sa mga micromanaging clients you need you as a freelancer would need experience to easily detect these kinds of of clients pag minsan ang mga newbies napapasubo na lang sila na Yes. Hindi nila alam eh, my, eh super micromanager yung ano yung yung client nila. I I believe <laughs> sa sa akin ano eh, uh, it's all about your confidence. Kasi pag harangin mo siya, harangin mo siya ng sa confidence mo na ipakita mo na alam mo yung ginagawa mo. Wag kang wag kang pumayag na napapatungang ka na ha? Ha? Gan- Ay ganun pala. Ay tapos yung yung mga nervous smiles pag lumalabas yung mga yan. The, alam nyo yung itong mga micromanaging clients, usually they thrive. Lalo silang naiingan yung mag-micromanage sa'yo. Pag pinapakita mo na, ninenervyos ka, kinakabahan ka, konting kamali lang, napapag-nervous laugh ka. Yung mga, yung mga ganun, as much as possible, uh, hide behind those. Parang, I mean, hide those behind you. Find all of those nervousness behind you. Show confidence. Show them that you know what you are doing. Parang kulang na lang ah. Kulang na lang na sabihin mo na, oo, oh, oh, alam ko. Alam ko, client. Right? Pagsasabihin niyang, hindi, dapat ito ilagay mo doon sa right, tapos ito ilagay mo sa left. Bago niya sabihin yun, sabihin mo na, parang kulang na lang na sabihin mong, oo, oh, oh, alam ko, client. Trust me. Yung, yung ganun, magbigay ka ng ganun na aura. Bigay ka ng smile, bigay ka ng confidence na, ah, okay, yun bang gusto mo? Okay. Ganun lang, relax ka lang. And show them that, yes, you can do whatever they are saying. Mm-hmm. And eventually, they will feel and trust you. Kasi kung trustworthy ang itsura mo, trustworthy ang performance mo in front of him or her, then they will leave you alone anyway. Pag, mawawalan sila ng gana pag makikita nilang efficient ka. Uh-uh. What, about, what do you think about this? Just to add, yeah. Go just ahead. to add, uh, uh, Phoenix, um, uh, it's okay if you don't have an answer right away. If the client mm-hmm. is asking you for something, you can always push back. You can always say, you know what? I'll get back to you on that one. Um, just oh, give yeah. me, just give me so and so hours, or give me. Uh, Give me till tomorrow. Ganunin mo. It's okay. Kasi it's better than you sounding, yun nga, not confident when answering the ano, the client's question. Okay? So, better for you to say, sige, babalikan kita client. Uh, I'll get back to you with an answer. 
or I'm still thinking on that one, I'll get back to you. Halimbawa, kung may pinapagawa siyang task, have you done this task before? Uh, or uh, let's say, have you, did you do this task that I was asking you? So sabihin mo lang, you know what, I'm, I'm testing my way around it. I'll get back to you when, when I've already fully tested the results. Parang ganon. Um, like with for social media, kasi we encounter several new things just as social media. So sometimes we don't have all the answers as a social media marketing specialist. So we have to push back on answers. We don't have all the answers right then and there. Yeah, or yung ano yung ang kinaiinisan ko as a video editor naman ang kinaiinisan ko yung gusto nilang every 30 minutes may nire report may progress report ako <laughs> uh, yeah every 30 minutes may gusto nila may uh, magme-message na ako na oh na, ito nang ginawa ko brinash up ko na yung mukha mo ito nang gin after 30 minutes ito nang ginawa ko pinalitan ko na yung kulay ng kilay mo yung isang pilik mata lang <laughs> yung yung ano Yung ganun, may pagkaganon sila eh. And I really don't like that. What I usually do is I shut them down. Like, patayin ko lahat ng communication. Let them, let them, leave them hanging. Before, before I leave them hanging, syempre sasabihin ko na, I'm working on it, don't worry, it'll be there in, in six hours. And then mm, shut yes. down the communication. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Shut the communication. Kasi, yun nga, parang may, parang may, alam, pag, pag sa corporate, yung parang may supervisor ka doon sa likod oh, na nakati nakatingin sa'yo. Ko po. Yeah, it, right. eh, hindi mo is talaga maiiwasan. Is it done yet? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ako, ako, tong, ako mismo, ano, eh, I mean, I feel that. I remember when I was a student and if the, if the teacher was behind me, kahit na may confidence ako, even if I know the answer, nanginginig pa rin ang kamay ko na I don't, I can't control it. Nanginginig ang kamay ko. And so I, I feel you, ladies and gentlemen, kung, nar kung nararamdaman nyo yan, do the, who, who does that? Is it, I think it's John, it's John, um, uh, John Pagulayan, do the John Pagulayan way. They'll say, kung iniidolo nyo, nyo siya, do it his way. Uh, sabihin nyo na, ano, it'll be there in six hours and then cut the communication. Patay nyo lahat ng, ano, ng messaging apps and whatnot para hindi sila makulit. So, or kung gusto nyo naman na, na medyo mabait kayo, you just say, okay, I'll be, uh, it'll be done in 12 hours. Now, let me be because I am going to, I'll be busy on, on doing work. Ganon, para hindi na, para kung sakali na ano, mangungulit sila, it is their fault. Kasi sinabi mo naman na, I am going to be busy. So kung mangungulit sila, hayaan mo sila. Ako ganoon, Felix. Ginagawa yeah. ako talaga, parang meron nagsiset ako ng deadline. Ito yung oras or araw na mas, 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 masasubmit ko tong task na to. Para hindi rin siya kulit ng kulit. Tapos kapag nasabihin hmm. ko sa kanyang oh, open, tapos na ako, isasend ko na lang sa kanya. So, parang hindi siya, ano, parang hindi siya parating aali-aligid niya na parang tapos na ba? Tapos na ba? ba Parang ina-update ko na lang siya on my own. Parang ganon. Pero yung hindi, kung, kung, kung kailan ko talaga gustong isubmit or kung kailan ko um, ready isubmit, sasabihin ko sa kanya. So, dapat clear din kayo sa deadlines para hindi rin siya yung parang ano, kulit ng kulit sa na tapos na ba? Tapos na ba? ba Oh, yeah. Yeah, I do agree. You have to know your skills. At this stage, you have to know your skills already. You have to know your limits. Kaya wag kayong mag overpromise. Yeah, pag, especially pag magbigay kayo ng deadlines. Wag kayong mag overpromise. Uh, uh, sabihin nyo pag ano, pag talagang mahirap sa inyo, sabihin nyo na it needs three days. Yeah, if, if that's what it takes, then it needs three days. Mm -hmm. uh, Deborah, Deborah, do you have any input? Ano po, gusto ko lang po i-share, kapag gumagawa pa ng cover letter, di po ba may subject line ganyan, pag nag-i-email. Nilalagay ko po agad doon na trust boy TVA po ako, ganyan. Na, tapos, I can, I can do the work efficiently. Ganyan. Tapos kapag, ano po, may client pa ako ngayon, nagsasubit po ako ng daily progress report. Tapos doon ko po ibalik, mm. finish na yung task or kailangan ko pa po ng konting oras para doon. Para, I ako din po feeling na parang every five minutes, iti-check ako. <laughs> <laughs> Meron ganun talaga kasi eh. Pero I, I like your suggestion, Debra. Yung unahan mo na sila. 
Yo, pag, 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 pag gusto nilang mag-micromanage, unahan mo na sila na, okay, you can micromanage me at this extent once a day lang ako magpa-progress report, <laughs> hindi per 30 minutes. Yeah. Very good suggestion. Unahan mo na sila. That's good. That's good. Anna, do we have any uh, comments from the audience? Comments? Um, si Julie nag-share lang. Nakaka-encounter daw siya ng client yesterday. And I just wonder where did he get my email kasi I'm sure di ako nag-apply sa kanya kasi if I did, they will know my profile directly. He asked me kasi if I'm really a VA daw kasi dami kong tanong ah, tanong reg Reg, ano sa work? Regarding sa work, siya din kasi din, di rin siya, di rin niya nililinaw. Uh, so parang direct client siguro to. Shinare niya lang. Anyway, eto. Si Alona, sabi niya, pwede daw bang mapanood ulit? Di, ko, di daw niya naumpisan. Yes, pagkatapos nitong live namin, meron ulit replay. So panoorin mo na lang ulit, Alona. Ayan, um, si Julie ulit. Si Julie lang ang nanonood. Oh, <laughs> joke. <laughs> Agree daw kay Honey. May isang client naman siya kahapon din sa LinkedIn asking if he could test me daw. Reply ko, it depends sa task if gaano karami or kung ano yung duration. Ayun. Ayun lang yung mga comments natin. Iba mga nagda-hi pa rin. Hi, hello. Okay, Hi, hello. let's talk about uh, number, number four. Three. Uh, number, number three? Number three. Yes, Unre unreliable clients. Ano yung ibig sabihin nito, Anna? Um, ito yata yung mga usual na parang um, may one-time project lang, tapos after yun, wala nang ipapagawa. Yung mga after, ano, hindi na nagpaparamdam. So, eh, yun yung mga uh, usual na problems na yung mga ibang freelancers. Na parang, kaya sinasabi nila na unstable daw ang freelancing kasi parang yung clients hindi daw parating, parating may papagawa, ganyan, di ba? So yun, anong sagot sa katanungan ng pagganto? Di syempre, maghahanap ka pa ng iba na client. Hindi ka talaga magpo-focus sa isa lang. Kasi kung aasahan mo isang client lang talaga, magugutom ka talaga, di ba? Yeah. Gutom talaga pag isa lang ang inasahan mong client. So maraming na, nakaka-experience ng ganto usually. Parang pagka nagka-client na sila, nagsastop na sila. Hindi nila alam na kapag anytime lang ma magka-problem din tong client na to, hindi na kailangan ng services niya, mahirapan na naman siya mag-start ng panibago. Diba? Ako mismo kailangan. may mga ganito akong clients eh. Yung <laughs> akala mo, uh, yeah, akala mo i-hire ka niya for, for like a, a weekly thing, a <laughs> weekly project. Eh, pag natapos yung isa, wala na, naka, naka uh, ano ka na sa ere, walang, <laughs> walang order. Oh, tapos kapag mag magsasabi ka na, Hi, client, do you still need my services? Blah, blah, blah. Sasabihin nilang, Oo, oh, sandali lang dahil medyo busy ako. I'm on vacation. Ang daming rason. Ang daming rason. Uh, uh, karamihan sa mga, na, na, napansin ko lang, ha, karamihan sa mga clients na ganito, ito yung mga tatlo-tatlo kayong na-hire. Sabay-sabay. Yeah. So, sometimes hindi niya alam kung kanino niya binibigay yung mga projects niya. Sometimes, um, naka-reserve ka kasi gusto niya yung isa pero parang back up ka ayaw kang bitawan yung back up ka lang uh, ayaw kang bitawan kasi okay yung trabaho mo pero ano na to uh, hindi ikaw ang main na na, na, na <laughs> ano so na I I think ano I think yeah it is kind of it is kind of painful pero uh, I think we also do this we also do this to clients in fair to be fair ha kasi Lagi nating ina-advise sa mga freelance, sa mga newbies na eh, wag kang wag kang mag-rely sa kaisa-isa pong client. You always need a backup. You always need somebody an option. <laughs> you know, di, di ba? Ina-advise naman natin 'yun. Wag kang wag kang mag-rely kasi you will never know kung tap, matatapos na yung ano mo, yung, yung contract mo dito sa isang client or uh, may mangyayari or na uh, yung business niya magiging afloat or magkakasakit yung client. Ang daming mga rason kung bakit hindi hindi ka dapat mag-rely sa isang client lang. And I think other freelance other clients are also doing the same. So, we should not take personally. In fact, we have to keep it in mind that yung kaisa-isang client na yan, hindi yan ang main source of income natin. Ang main source of income natin is Lima, sampung clients. <laughs> yun yun ang ano, main source of income natin. Hindi na kukontento sa dalawa, tatlo. Siyempre. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ganun talaga.
talaga, be. <laughs> Go, honey. So what can you say about these uh, unreliable, supposedly unreliable clients? Uh, yeah, you were right about the fact that you still somehow keep them in the back uh, for um, <laughs> para balikan mo sila if in case. Um, it's easier to keep them because nga they're um, they will be your fallback nga. Uh, kapag dumating ang rainy days you can always uh, oh you can always tap into them and go hey i'm still alive are you still alive would you like to rekindle our relationship <laughs> and start working together <laughs> parang ganon so yun nga uh, maganda it's always good to have them i honestly have clients like this currently um, pero hindi ko sila binibilang as active clients. They're just there <laughs> in the background. Pero from oh, time to time, oh, oh. but from time to time, like, uh, lalo na kapag mga occasions, I wish them like a happy new year or Merry Christmas, mga ganon. Parang nagpaparamdam na, hey, I'm here. I'm still I'm need still alive. <laughs> yeah. or, or I say something like, Hey, you know what? I was looking through the contracts that I have with my my mm. client list, and I stumbled upon our work together. And I was wondering whether you'd like to, uh, whether you have an existing work or project that you would like us to work on together once again. You know, mm. and then I na rekindle ang aming relasyon. Yeah, I, I I love that. Um, I think you wrote something about this uh, thing, Hani, back then. So, uh, yeah, yeah, some yeah. time ago you wrote something about about this. Yeah, I I like that. Yung magparamdam ka, hayaan mo sila, <laughs> hayaan mo kasi sila. The thing, sakit talaga natin, especially paggalit tayo sa corporate. Sakit talaga natin na hinahanap yung ka isa isa one and only. And we are <laughs> very um, loyal. <laughs> Yeah, um, please, ladies and gentlemen, um, wag natin gawing love affair ang ano ang freelance. Wala forever. Kung ituturing natin ganyan, it is okay yeah. to be polygamous dito sa, ano, dito sa <laughs> freelance. Uh, dito po, legal po kayo magkaroon ng more than one. <laughs> yeah. Pwede po magpolygamous, walang magtatampo. At saka we strongly advise it. Kasi meron nga itong mga ganitong clients. I also, I, I, I currently have clients like these. Yung, mm-hmm. yung, hindi mo, um, maya-maya bigla na lang sumusulpot na, okay, we are swamped with 5,000 projects like these and we need your help. Pag ganun, mm-hmm. Sure, that's nice. And I, th- I think ang, ang, ang isang malaking kamali ko back then when I was new, was I ended those contracts. Yung parang pinakumustahan ko sila. May tatlo akong pinakumustahan mga clients na, hang, na nakahang lang na ganun. Sabi ko, do you still need my services? Because if not, I'm going to I'm going to close our contract. And that's a big mistake. Kasi parang sa, sa, sa pananaw naman ng client na who the heck do you think you are? Sure, go ahead. Close mo ang, ano, uh, close mo ang contract. Hanap na lang ako ng iba when I need it. Yeah. Yun ang ano, yun ang parang response nila sa akin nun. So, I think I regret that. Maraming mga obsessed sa, especially sa Upwork, yung, I think it will, they think it will affect their JSS points or something. I think uh, mas mabuti pang meron ka pa client na once in a while ina-hire ka kesa yung JSS points mo na yan. Kasi pwede mong mabawi yung points mo na yan in other means. Also, kung ang worry mo is to be, uh, becoming overwhelmed kung sakali na kung kailan may trabaho ka na at busy ka na sa kana lang daw sumi, uh, nagpapatulong itong mga nagpaparamdam itong mga clients because that happens right honey outsource happens, baby right? yeah yeah outsource magbigay ka ng work sa ano sa, sa mga kapwa mo freelancers and you will be a good person they will love you for it and you will have the experience of outsourcing as well so don't fear uh, getting overwhelmed Sige lang, hapot ka lang ng hapot. Don't worry about that. Debra, do you have anything to add? Yes, for any personal experience. I had a client na may three-day trial period. Well, with pain naman po. So, okay naman po. Okay. And pay siya after three days. Then, 
yun, nagbigay ko siya ng contract sa so city ko, nag ano naman ako, sign sign, padala sa kanya. Tapos, binag-start ko pa ako mag-work. Nung kailangan ko na po sana mag-invoice na po, yun, parang nawawala na po siya. So, nakinistart ko po yung paggawa ng post ko. Tapos, nakahawisin po ako ng invoice sa kanya pa lang. Okay, let's start a fresh with me yan. Nakakana uh, ulit daw kami. Kani bagong pag-work po ulit. Eh. Tapos, tinag-ask na po ako ng race. Agad-agad. <laughs> Nice. Sorry po. Okay, pumayag po siya. Sabi ko, pag sa sarili ko po, kapag ito, hindi pumayag na tataasan yung rate ko, down na, hindi ko na-accept yung offer. Okay, pumayag po siya, umuko siya, hindi go, hindi pa rin. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> start eh. <laughs> yeah, very good. Very good, very good, Deborah. Yeah, that's a very good idea. Yeah, uh, it's a very good idea actually, free, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Yung sinabi ni Deborah na hayaan mo silang ano, hayaan mo silang maging unreliable, hayaan mo sila na tatahimik ng ilang buwan. Tapos pag months na, once na sumulpot sila, once na magtatanong uli sila ng servisyo mo, uh, there, that is a very good time for you to uh, to mention na, uh, oops, uh, yeah, you can hire me but medyo tumaas na ang rate ko. Not for not for three dollars anymore. But but ganon. Yeah, I love that. The, very good, very good, Deborah. Yes. The, that's very good suggestion. Anna, do we have any comments uh, or questions? Uh, ito si Christina. Sabi niya, I had clients before na nagbibigay lang ng one-time projects. Totoo, dapat humana pa rin ang new clients. Pero after a month, after a few months or even years, mini message ko rin sila just to let them know na buhay pa rin ako at ready pa rin ako to work on a project if they need help on it. Madami din po sa kanila nagre-reply and nagsisend ulit ng contract. Minsan kasi nakakalimot sila. Oo. Marami din akong gantong experience actually. Talaga kailangan talagang nagpaparamdam ka sa kanila pa minsan. Dahil nga, di ba, yung iba sa, up, lalo na kung upwork, di ba, yung mga projects sila minsan ano lang, yung mga mga one time lang ganyan so kapag later on makakahanap ulit sila ng ibang freelancer eh kung nag-message ka nung time na meron siyang ipapagod eh parang ikaw ikaw kagad yung i-hire nila kasi alam nilang nakagawa ka na previously sa kanila so kailangan din talagang magparamdam paramdam from time to time sa mga ibang clients pero wag lang mangungulit diba yung magparamdam it makes you stand out yeah di ba yan ang problema naman natin as freelancers especially mga newbies how do i stand out how do i stand out yung pagpaparamdam na yan it makes you stand out because none of the other uh, other nationalities do that walang freelancer na ano na, na hindi pilipino na, na nagpaparamdam tayo lang so gawin natin yan because that is how we That is how we stand out. Ano, wala silang pakialam kung hindi ka magpaparamdam, di, hindi rin ako magpaparamdam. Ganon ang attitude ng, ng iba. Pero sa atin, kung magpaparamdam ka, and, you, and like we always say, if you bring them happiness na hello, with a cheerful smile, na, hello, nandito pa rin ako, don't forget about me, okay? Just in case you need my services, I am here. Good morning. You know, ganon. And then leave them be. Mababasa nila yon, mapapanood nila yon, make a video message if you want to, and it will make you stand out. They will always keep you in mind. And who knows, who knows kung ang nasa isip nila is, I satisfied na ako dito sa, pang, dito sa uh, team ko, but I really, really want to get you because of your attitude. Nag-iisip pa lang ako ng ipapagawa ko sa'yo, na kung anong magiging position mo. Sometimes it's like that. And in many cases, kung hindi ka nagpaparamdam, makakalimutan ka nila. But when the time comes na kailangan nila ang servisyo mo, you really have to be there. You really have to remind them that you are around. So don't take it personally kung hindi ka, hindi ka kailangan, kung pasulpot-sulpot ka lang, kung option ka lang. Don't take it too personally. That's just how the business works. Okay. Um, I want us to skip, uh, I want us to skip number four. I want us to, kasi nakita ko itong ano, eh, num number five and number six, Those these are two very, very uh, big and problematic sa atin. Mm -hmm. So where should we start? Number five, low payment? Sino ang ano, sino mag-discuss? Kasi alam ko, kung pag-uusapan natin, natin apat ito, it will take us more than three days. Kaya one of you should take, ano, yeah, one of you should take number five. <laughs> Sige, Anna, go. 
eto low payment um usually ako ang ang ano ko dito ang tekniko dito kasi pag mga baguhan di ba they tend to accept lang projects dahil ah para magka client sige go pero hindi nila alam kung ano yung worth nila na may skills naman sila talagang kayang offer like um nasabi ko na yan tato hindi ko maalala kung saan um parang ang feeling kasi di ba ng iba porque um pinoy tayo Ito na lang yung rate na para sa atin. Parang inaano tayo na, um, pang gantong rate ka lang kasi Pinoy ka. Pero, ako talaga, um, in-experiment ko talaga yung rate ko nung nagsa-start pa lang ako. So, finalo ko yung, sige, start ako ng $5. Pero after, after finding another client na may feedback, uh, kada nagkaka-feedback ako, in-experiment ko i-increase ang rate ko. Hanggang nakaabot ako ng $15 na meron naman pala talagang na, ready mag-hire na client. Maraming premium clients. So, I I usually check yung mga ano client history and feedbacks din. Kapag ka, makikita mo kasi doon kung magkano yung mga rates na in-offer nila or binabayad nila sa mga previous nilang ano eh, mga na-hire. So, doon ako nakakakuha ng idea na, ah, pwede akong mag-charge ng ganto sa kanila. So, kung yung iba, yung ibang, alam mo yung mga ibang mga freelancers na nakikita ko yung profiles, like, mas mat matagal na sa akin, pero 350 pa rin yung ano nila, $350 pa rin yung rate nila per hour. Parang nakukontento na lang sila na nandun, okay na to, kumikita na ako, sige, $350 na lang ako. So parang, parang, ayun, e, ikaw, nasa sayo talaga yan eh, kasi dito, hindi tayo na fix lang dun sa rate na, ano, na mababa. Pwede mo talaga siyang i-increase at pwede ka rin maghingi ng increase na hindi rin uh, magagalit or mag, ma, uh, ano yung client na, bakit ka nang hingi ng increase, ba diba? So, kayang-kaya nating maningil ng mga Pinoy ng mataas. Lalo na alam mong may skills ka naman. So, yeah. I think it it also goes with um what Honey is advocating. Yung confidence. Kasi pag hindi, pag hindi ka confident, hindi sila confident na magbibigay sa'yo ng, ng pera. First thing to do is to research kung ano ang standard. Huwag kang magtanong-tanong dito ng basta-basta kasi lahat ang sasabihin namin is depende sa skills mo, depende sa negotiation mo. But if you try to look around, if you work on freelancer or online jobs, tignan mo kung ano ang standard rate ng yes. ng ano mo, ng niche mo, whatever you're applying for. Tignan mo ang standard rate and then tapatan mo or dagdagan mo ng konti. It's up to you. Pero the way you present yourself is how they will be convinced. Hindi porket na mababa yung presyo mo, eh, gugustuhin na nila. In many cases, si, sila Ana, sila Hani, <laughs> we talk down on the clients para lang ano para ma-intimidate sila para mataas ang rate namin. Uh, we can we can go for as high as, high as 20 20 dollars per hour. Mag-aalanganin sila pero kung ipapakita mong hmm, yes, I am worth 20 dollars per hour. Pag pag ganun ka magsalita, it, parang maano sila na hmm, there must be something why you are 20 dollars per hour. So titignan nila. They will be ano ang charge mo sa bente ka magaling siguro talaga to dahil mag yeah, mataas yeah. Siya, but if you're going to, you're going to say uh, 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 20 20 dollars per hour pag, pag ganun ka magsalita siya pre natural para ang pinadaman nila agad na ano na you're just try, you're just trying it out kung kakagat sila o kakagat, kakagat sila o hindi which is insulting so whatever your price is say it with confidence if you want to increase uh, your if you want to increase your rate, for example, uh, nakita nilang ang rate mo before was three dollars per hour, and you want to increase it to five dollars per hour. Kung gusto mo ng ganun, you have to make sure that you are willing to stand in front of the crowd and say, "Hey, to mas ng rate ko." Yeah, do, wag 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 ka, wag kayo kasi magalanganin pag ano pag kahit low kahit na naglo ball itong mga clients, if you show them that you are worth the money then they will trust you with it. Pero please lang ha, panindigan nyo ha. <laughs> panindigan nyo. Wag po, kayong mag, wag po kayong mag $20 per hour tapos ABC lang po ang alam din nyo. Please lang ha. Wag po. You'll make sure of, uh, you have to know your skills as well. Honey, do you have anything to add there? Um. Yes, exactly. Well, <clears throat> for the hustle challengers, um, my, my advice for them, kasi... I like to build people's, um, yeah, help boost people's confidence. Now, the 
problem with the newbie freelancer transitioning from corporate world or transitioning from no experience into freelancing is hindi nila alam paano how to go about it and they also don't know how to start with like five dollars per hour or anything that is um above a three dollar mark which is kasi yung three dollars parang it's a standard norm kumbaga that you will see so I, I tell them, what exactly is it that you're after? Are you uh, working to earn or are you working to learn? So if you are working to learn, then you grab the opportunity that's in front of you, make it as a stepping stone, and then when you can, let go of that client or still keep that client and then make it like a back like a back burner client and then go for a different client where you can start asking for a higher rate than you currently started with so ganun yung lagi kong sinasabi sa mga hustle challengers there is nothing wrong with starting with a three dollar rate especially if you do not have a glorifying <laughs> um, experience or a profile you start from everyone starts from the lowest part okay mm -hmm. uh P i've heard of people na doctors na nanggagaling dito sa pinas and when they reach canada they're cleaning the the they're they're mopping floors okay they're starting from scratch bucket they have a higher goal in mind the higher goal is to eventually get into a, a doctor uh position in a hospital but they can't go into that agad agad they have to go through a certain process so they sinaswalo muna nila yung pride nila to go for something a uh, uh, mediocre i'm not calling it a mediocre job but uh, uh, to go for a job like that dahil meron silang ano eh they have a higher goal they have a higher purpose so kung para sa inyo you can start with that and then go from there gamitin niyo siya as a stepping uh, as a ladder to your uh, goal to your success because you have to start uh, somewhere, diba? Somehow. <laughs> I really love yung ano yung emphasis ni Honey don sa there is nothing wrong with accepting three dollar per hour ano uh, jobs. Yeah, there definitely is nothing wrong, especially kapag gutom ka na. Pag gutom ka na, then syempre, sunggaban mo na yan. Yeah, sunggaban mo na yan. But I don't know, always keep in mind na it's not the end of the world. Yung, kasi ang, ang mahirap nga sa atin, we always think that this one client will be our permanently one client. Get that out of your mind. Get, out, get, get that out of your head. Itong $3 per hour or $1 per hour pa nga, if itong mga small dollars per hour, just take them and then parang take them as... Uh, Alam mo yung paggutom ka eh magi skyflex ka na lang para hindi ka yung mag, hindi ka big, mabigla right <laughs> mag yeah tra treat them as skyflakes for the main course yeah, mm -hmm. habang hinahanap mo pa yung main course mo eh yes. treat them as your appetizers na lang para ano para hindi hindi yung masyadong mabigat sa sa loob mo na mababa yung ano mababa yung rate but but at the same time Pag pinatulan mo yan, also get ready to have an uh, an exit ano exit door. Kasi I'm sure na eventually matata uh, after sabi mo ng mga three months, mararamdaman mo na yung pagod mo. Mati drain ka na. Ooh, I'm spending so much uh, time doing so much work with this amount of ano uh, amount of money. At siguro naman at that time nakahanap ka na ng ano or driven ka na na maghanap ng bigger cl client. Then do that. And then prepare yourself to get out of that contract. Always yes. remember, pwede mong patulan yung mga yan, yung mga mababang rates, basta make sure na meron kang exit strategy. Uh, I think also, uh, you do have lectures about exit strategy, right, honey? Well, uh, it's given in the no. uh, hustle challenge kapag oh. it's asked. Uh -oh. Because mm -mm. it's something yeah. that isn't you know, um, asked as often. Because everybody's thinking of, oh, I'm happy. I have a client now. <laughs> 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 so, 
Ay, yeah, pero pala akong issue share with Phoenix. Yung nag-start yeah. ako na na $5 lang yung kinita ko, yung newbie lang din ako. $5 ako nag-start tapos 12 hours ko ginawa. Tapos inulit ko ulit siya for 3 days. Tapos mm-hmm. after na naghanap ulit ako ng client kasi sabi ko, hala, nakakapagod naman to. Pero ang, ang saya-saya ko na noon, $5 ang kinita ko. Sabi, mamalaki ko na kay Bong noon. Sabi ko, uy, may dollars na ako. May magkano? Five. Sabi niya, ang swerte mo. Sabi niya, $5, ang saya-saya mo na. So, yun. And parang doon talaga, matututo ka na parang iyan muna yung start mo. And then later on, kapag confident ka na dahil ginagawa mo na siya parate, doon mo na matututunan kung paano mo i-charge talaga yung clients at paano ka ibabayaran, di ba, ng talagang worth mo nung rate na ginagawa mo. So, meron talagang starting point, di ba? Talagang kailangan mag-start ka sa mababa. Until matutunan mo kung paano na talaga yung kalakaran dito. Paano, paano mo i-charge talaga yung client na naaayon sa skills mo na siya. Yeah, makikita mo rin with with experience makikita mo rin ang value mo, how you value your time and how you will assess your your output. Makikita mo rin with experience. So don't worry about that, just keep on going with the flow. Ma uh, kasi learning process pa rin ito for a lifetime. Don't don't worry, you will get there. May napansin ako sa may request si ano, si Alex. Yeah, Alex. Separate discussion. Oh, sabi, request nila na gumawa ng separate discussion. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you really want that, then I think uh, I think Anna will consider that, or the powers that be will consider that. Yes. Right, Anna? Yes. Malakas ka sa akin, Alexi. Actually, ladies and gentlemen, hindi ko alam kung sino ang boss namin dito. Eh. Ang alam ko si Anna ang tinitignan namin lagi when it comes to Anna. Nasa taas ang boss natin. So, the powers that be. Okay, <laughs> let's go to number six. Pakasensya na ako mag-overtime tayo, ladies and gentlemen. I strongly encourage we talk about this because this is something that we always struggle uh, with, especially kayo mga newbies. So, as the newbie, I was as our resident newbie today, Debra, I want you to yes. talk about payment. How do you come back? Late. May relation to ito sa inyo eh, yung unreliable uh, client sa akin. Personal experience ko po. Kasi po, late payment ko po, di po ba, uh, for a week, nag-work po ako sa kanya, 40 hours po yun. Tapos, when I submitted the invoice na po, hindi na po siya nag-perm <laughs> So, uh, so what I do na po, ah, uh, Talagang I keep track of the hours na inawa ko sa kanya. Then I will send it to him para let me explain ko rin sa kanya kung uh, ano din po yung task na nagawa ko dyan. Though ngayon, nakaka-experience pa rin po ako ng ganyan, late payment. Nakakailang email din po akong send sa kanya. Talagang kinukulit ko po siya na, hey, <laughs> please notice my email. Tapos sasabihin din po yung may nangyayon. I'm out of the country. Please wait till I get home. So, pasensya na lang din ako po. Ganun po. Pero hanggang kailan magtatagal ang pasensya po, Debra? Hanggang <laughs> three days. May leave it. May leave it. Do you, do you, in your opinion, do you encourage uh, everybody na tagalan ng pas- na medyo habaan ang pasensya ng at least three days? Depende po siguro kasi yung client ko po ngayon parang ano na eh, nag-establish na rin po ako sa kanya. A month, although one month na po ako sa kanya, uh, kung pagka mali, maayos naman po siya mag-alit, nalilit. Nalilit. Mm. Buo po, kumbaga buo po. Okay. So, it's up to them. Maybe they will decide po kung ano yung what's up to this. Okay. Very nice, Pero, Debra. Uh, ang maganda siguro. Very mellow si Debra eh. So, oh, go ahead, Anna. <laughs> ang, ang maganda siguro pag mga ganito, yung mga, usually kasi di ba hindi nakakahanap naman sa Upwork. Kasi sa Upwork talaga hindi mo kailangan maningil dahil may contract. Pero yung mga mm. direct clients, 
ng movies, kung makakuha sila ng direct flight, talagang dapat um, sa umpisa pa lang, i- humingi ka ng upfront ba na bayad? Parang ano ba, meron ka ng down payment na 50% or 20% tapos kapag um pagka kapag submit ka na sa kayong full payment diba para hindi sayang din yung yung ano yung ginawa mo tapos kung mali late at least kung mali man at may nakuha ka na diba parang ano ka na kampante ka na ay nabaya naman ako nito yung parang nagbi-build ka din kasi dapat ng trust sa client from the start para ano talaga nagkaka-intindihan kay na marunong naman tong magbayad na late lang naman pala diba kasi meron ganun talaga ng instances kasi yung minsan yung ibang newbies talaga talagang um hindi humihingi ng upfront na bayad tapos nagaantay sila tapos eh wala pa silang experience with the client working with the client at saka receiving payments tapos na delay yun doon na, nagkakaroon ng problema nahihirapan din silang manihin eh tayo pa namang mga pinoy pag pera na di ba nahihiya tayong manihin parang ay hindi pa lang masasabi hindi tayo ng script ano ba ako maniningin? Ano <laughs> <laughs> Alam mo yan, <laughs> So, yun. Yeah. Um, I think, ano eh, ang mga babae, mas, I don't know, I, I, I don't know if I'm being sexist or something, but, ang napansin ko, mga babae, mas magaling silang maningil eh. <laughs> you know, mas matapang silang maningil. <laughs> uh, mga lalaki, medyo, um, um, sandali, buwelo muna. <laughs> Parang ganun. Pag too much, pag too much, saka na lang kami magsasalita. Pero usually, pag, uh, pag parang isang araw na delay, eh, mga babae itong, if if I have a partner, I would definitely rely on my partner. Sa sabi ko, hindi ko manigil. Ikaw mo manigil. Oh, it it is difficult. But it, it, that's why I want us to talk about this. Because it is difficult to remind uh, the clients na, oi client, um, bayad ko na please. Tapos ang hirap sabihin na hindi ako makaka move forward. Hindi ako makaka trabaho kapag hindi ka pa magbabayad. Ang hirap ng mga ganun. So, mm-hmm. how do we say this? How do we say these things? So, meron na tayong, meron na tayong scripts na, na bibilhin kay Ana na, ano, na, na paniningil. But, how do we say like, <laughs> how do we, how do we gain the, the confidence to say that? How do we propose it to our clients? Honey, <laughs> um, I normally tell, kasi di ba, um, especially with clients na, na, na nasa states, um, they're a couple of hours behind or even um, almost 24 hours behind, parang ganon. So, Pagbibigyan ko, so halimbawa, this, the payments have been set every 15.30. Example lang to. And, ano na, 15 na sa atin, 14 pa lang sa kanila. I'm okay with that. The payment will, I'm, I'm not expecting the payment to come through. Pero pag 16 na sa atin, and 15 na sa kanila, magtatanong na ako, Hi, um, may I ask kailan magko-go through ang payment? And then, kung sasabihin nila, madedelay. And then, I will just bl- uh, openly tell them, okay, um, since there will be a delay, I'm gonna not work for this period until the payment has come through. And then, I will resume work. Is that okay with you? And then, kung okay na, and then, yeah, tapos na. That's it. That's all I say. Most of the times, oh, oh most of the times, hindi sila, hindi sila magugulat na, ha? Huh? Hindi dali mo ang trabaho? Kasi I, I, think, I think yan ang kinakatakutan natin eh. I think yan ang kinakatakutan ng karamihan. Uh, honey, you have experience from BPO. You yourself are one of the higher ups. Do you really expect that scenario sa sa corporate? Yung mm, yeah. sasabi, Late pag payment? mag-delay yung company tapos sasabihin ng, na, ni, ni worker na ay kung ganun, di, 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 di hindi pa ako magtatrabaho hanggat sa ano. Sa ibigay nyo yung sweldo. Terminated ka. Yeah, right? Right? Karamihan po. Higher, kina, yan ang kinakatakutan natin eh. Kasi in, in, in our experiences sa corporate most especially, pagsasabihin na natin na, well, kung delay ang sahod, di-delay din ang trabaho. Pagsasabihin mo na ganun eh, natural, magre-react yung ano, yung, yung amo mo na, ha? 
Abi mo ka mo. <laughs> yeah. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the reason why we keep telling you that freelancing is not actually corporate work. It's business. Kasi pag business ang iniisip mo, di ba ikaw rin pag meron kang contract sa mga, pag magpapatayo ka ng bahay, sasabihin nila na, ay, madidelay yung tiles. E di, ano rin, pati yung per day, ipapadelay ko rin. Di, di ba, may, may ganun tayong attitude. If it is business, if it is business, we, all, we, we give and take. Pero pag sa, if we are if we are treating it as work, we might think na yun nga, pag i-delay nila yung sahod, tapos sasabihin mo na, o oh, i-delay ko rin ang trabaho, natatakot ka kasi baka sasabihin nila na, ha? E di terminated ka na. Yeah. <laughs> Hindi. This is why we keep telling you that it is business. Because the people, the clients, they already know. Sila mismo sasabihin na, sila mismo mahihiya sila sa'yo na delayed yung pasahod nila. And they will understand they are already prepared to accept the consequences of, of the delay because that happens to them as well. So have confidence on that. Um, anything else, guys? Do you, uh, Anything else you want to add? Uh, parang ano? Um, yeah, my comment dito si... I think my comment dito si Alex about yung usapan natin kanina na ano? the ko ano ang worth mo if coming out from consultants if yeah if coming off uh from pakibasa hindi ko mabasa Anna. if coming off <laughs> sabi siya magsalamin ka na rin eh. if coming <laughs> off from consultants work i think coming up with the value for your services may be easier when transitioning to be a freelancer given that you are used to billing clients by the hour by the day or per project there is what we call level of e- effort Uy, ano ba? Nakadikit ka rin siya. Quotation marks lang. Ano ba? Hindi ko mabasa yung gano'ng kaliit. Ano ba naman yan? So, yes, ladies and gentlemen, these are many, of, we, we have discussed many of the problems that we face as freelancers and we try to give you uh, as much as much solution as we can. And if you are still, sabihin na natin, enchained by these specific problems, go ahead and talk to any one of us. Go ahead and approach us. And dito si Debra, as you can see, kahit bago lang si Debra sa, sa ano, sa freelancing na sabi niya, uh, she has uh, a lot of input, which is good, and I'm very, very impressed. Uh, very good. Good job, Debra. Uh, uh, buti naman ano. Buti naman nakapagsalita ka. So go ahead and contact Debra or Anna or Honey uh, or me if you have any problems regarding the our topic for today. Now uh, extend their your thanks if you want to. But in the meantime, we would like to remind you, Anna. Coming. Mucha share na ako ng screen. Go ahead. Nakikita niyo na baka mamaya dal-dal na naman ako ng dal-dal wala man ako na share. Meron ba ako na share? Wala pa rin. Wala, wala pa. Ako pa nang ako wala pa rin. <laughs> <laughs> Ayun. <Ayan. laughs> yeah, announcements. And on October 9, 6 p.m., don't forget to watch the success interview with Natalie Joy with Celeste full-time nurse and part-time VA because when uh, job. <laughs> Ayan, panoorin niyo yan on Wednesday, 6 p.m. Tapos yung mga bago lang sa, ano, sa page at wala pa sa clip, um, join din na kayo dun sa group natin sa face, uh, www.facebook.com slash groups slash clip th. So marami tayong mga useful blogs and threads dyan kung bago ka um, makakatulong na basahin na itong mga blogs natin at threads natin sa group. And marami din tayong mga moderators na sasagot sa mga ano And if you are interested in working from home at gusto mo mag-invest sa iyong sarili, um, ito yung bagong site namin. Wavewoodcamp.ph slash enroll lang ang pupuntahan kung gusto mo na mag-enroll. Pero kung gusto mo namang um, mag-free course lang muna, freebacourse.com meron tayong five-day free course para sa mga newbies na wala pang budget or gusto lang matuto um, without paying anything. So, and if mother ka naman, um, namin sa www.com slash slash finalwams um, marami din tayo moderators na mommies, mwamshis na makakatulong sa'yo if you want to start working from home like us. 
Ayan. Yun na po. Ano ba yan? Busy pa kung nagmunguya eh. Tapos na ang gano'n. Nakamisan mo pa sa ano. Hindi ko pa naman kayo nakikita pag nagsashare ako. Kaya sabi ko, ano ba reaksyon nila while nagsashare? Wala ka nakikita ang mukha. Kaya hindi ko kumakain kasi alam. Kumakain. Ina-enjoy ko pa ang pagguya ko. Muntik pa ako mabila. Thank you pala ako kay Alex. Kasi nung Saturday, meron kaming Quezon City meetup. So, Um, yung wife niya kasi yung ano nag-provide ng venue so nasa Jollibee ano kami Quezon City uh, sa Viluna uh, corner ano nga yun but sa'yo nasa Jollibee kami so napakaganda tahimik yung lugar I mean yung lugar pero wala kami binayaran so parang wow. bumili lang kami ng, uh, ng food para hindi kami palayasin pero yun ang tagalan sa kaan saya ang daming newbies and marami na rin nag-enroll from ano from dun sa meetup na natuwa dun sa narinig nila na pwede palang kumita ng dollars while nasa bahay lang. Hindi na kaya maging OFW. So, <coughs> eh, so yun sa so mga nagtatanong kung kailan ang susunod, mag-organize na lang ulit kami sa Quezon City. Pero yung mga ibang areas, kung sino yung gusto mag-organize, like Paranaque, meron kasi nagtatanong kailan daw sa Paranaque, kailan sa uh, Pampanga. Yung medyo malayo, um, we advise yung mga gustong mag, magkaroon ng meetup sa lugar nila na um, i, uh, um, i-PM ako para um, i-coordinate kung paano. Pwede naman kasi mag-organize kahit sino. And then yun, kung gusto nyo nang um, magpunta kami doon, baka pwede namang i-ayos ang schedule, baka makapunta din. Pero yun, hindi naman kailangan na parating ano, kami yung nag-organize. Kayo mismo na nasa area nyo, pwede mismo kayong mag-organize. And pwede natin i-post dito sa flip yung ano, yung in yung event or yung meetup nyo para mas maraming makapunta at makaalam. Kasi usually kapag tapos na doon nagsasabi, kailan po yung susunod? Ang <laughs> bait-bait kasi, kasi ni... Ang bait-bait kasi ni Anang mag-encourage nito mga ano eh. Do not wait for us to think about your place. <laughs> kasi sa dami ng mga barangay, sa dami ng mga munisipyo dito sa Pilipinas, hindi na hindi po namin... It is not 1970s where we have to memorize all the municipalities and capitals of the municipalities of the Philippines. No. So, <laughs> hindi po namin alam. Hindi po namin alam. Sometimes, nagaano na lang kami sa ere na saan kaya ang susunod dapat na event. And you need, so you need to say, uh, suggest, you need to say, Hi, uh, we are interested to have a meetup here. Pag sasabihin nyo ng ganun, then we will try to, we will discuss it with you. It doesn't mean that you're going to take so much responsibility. Don't worry about that. If you, if you're afraid of responsibilities, we will always we will try to coordinate. What we need is for you to remind us that you exist in one Sulok Barangay of the world. So of the world, ah, kasi nagpahong kong nga sila Hong Kong at Singapore pa sila ana. Hong Kong na abot nila eh, ikaw pa kaya. Oh, di ba? So yeah, but what you, what we want you to do is to talk to us come and talk to us tell us that you want us to go there para ano well them i'm just saying us pero them actually ang pupunta diyan so yeah don't expect us to think about you you have to remind us kaka ano ang bait bait kasi din ana na sa bagyo sa bagyo um what about you guys honey and debra do you got anything to advertise ako ba muna or si deb No, Deb, do you have anything? Ano yun naman po, mag-hi lang mga kasana. Oh, go ahead, hi. Sige, mag-hi ka na. Go. Hi po, sa mga spectacular September Guided Hazard Challenge na kasama ko. Sa mga coaches, kay Julia, tsaka kay Max, tsaka sa mga baka doon. Okay, Debbie. Okay, Debbie. Nahiya pang, nahiya pang mag-shoutout si Debbie. Sabi ko na nga, good job eh. Nahiya pang mag-shoutout. Ano <laughs> Go ahead, honey. Take it away. Take okay, so para sa akin naman, I'll be launching a confidence cultivating project soon. So um, it is a uh, passion project of mine. So kaabang-abang and I'll announce more about it and how to join the Confidence Cultivating Project where I will be helping people boost their confidence, their confidence. in freelancing. 
Join ako dyan, Be. Ay, in confidence. <laughs> Sama ako para ano, magbigay ng confidence. Oh, sige, Ayun, mag- I promo sa ano. Let's mag- collaborate, mag- Phoenix. Magigive away si ano, magigive away si Honey ng confidence ni Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, let's kung talk pwede, more about <laughs> Kung pwede nga lang sana eh. Kung physical lang sana ang confidence para, mm, yan, go. <laughs> diba? <laughs> anyway. Um, It can be a placebo oh, okay. ano, effect. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, I think confidence is a placebo rin naman talaga. Eh. It really is in the mind. Lahat ng, lahat itong mga requirements natin na uh, na kinakatakutan natin as Filipinos it's usually all in the mind so we it, it, if that is the case then we will definitely be able to help them we, we will definitely be able to help them yeah okay ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for sticking around and I hope that you enjoyed our discussion for today if you learn anything and if you got any questions keep on asking them don't worry about it whether you add it on the comment section down below or you can talk to us directly it doesn't matter we are, we will try to address it as much as we can so we will see you again next week and looking forward to more, more changes bye-bye bye bye <laughs>